Welcome back to my channel. I know I have been missing for some time. I've been doing a lot of things and in the background. I have filmed a lot of videos but the quality was not coming good. A lot of things has been changed in my channel. So I'm trying my best to be regular. So yeah, today I have come up with this look with using all the Milani products. I have got a lot of requests to review the Milani foundation. So when I got the Milani foundation available at Nykaa of my shade, so I just grabbed a lot of Milani products and created this look using them all the Milani products. So if you want to know how I have created this look, then keep on watching. And also if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have already moisturized my face and put a little, little bit of lip balm. So the first product that I'm going to use from Milani is this one. This is the, the Milani Prime Shield Face Primer. It is mattifying and oil free. Let's see how it goes on. So I'm going to apply it on the center portion of my face. It feels like the Smashbox Primer. So after primer, I'm going to color correct you can see these areas near my mouth has become quite dark i have not been very good well in my skincare so you know because of the dryness this happened so uh, i don't have a color corrector from milani but i do have a color corrector from provoke and i'm going to use this um, orange color corrector near my mouth and i'm going to take this real techniques this is a pointed foundation brush like this next i'm gonna move into foundation this is the milani conceal and perfect two in one foundation plus concealer and it is in the shade 0910 i think i got it from nika the shades were there till six and it was lighter to my skin tone when i got this foundation and i got a lot of requests from you guys to review this foundation so i think that shade 10 is perfectly matching to my skin tone so i'm taking the same flat foundation brush and it is slightly i think thick in consistency it is not liquidy so i'm gonna apply this on all the areas of my face first i'm going to apply this using the brush then i'm gonna take the beauty blender it has a very beautiful dewy finish you can see my face is glowing since i do have a very oily skin and i think one pump is enough for half of my face so i'm taking one more pump for the rest of half of my face And also I'm go going to drag it slightly on my neck. Next I'm gonna take this beauty blender and dab it on all my face. You can see it is quite dewy, like my face is glowing. Might be very good for dry skin people. I don't have a concealer from Milani. So I'm gonna use this LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is my trusty good concealer and apply it on my face after applying the concealer i'm gonna use this this is the milani translucent banana powder in the shade 03 i must say the foundation gave a quite pretty good coverage certain conceal and define if you don't have I think too much dark spots like me then definitely only the foundation you can use next I'm gonna take the same beauty blender and I'm gonna take this loose powder banana loose powder and try to bake my under eyes actually I'm gonna go over this powder and all over my face because I do have a very oily skin so I need to bake all of my face otherwise it is going to look very shiny.
Next, I'm gonna take this Milani Stay Put Brow Color in the shade 04 Brunette. This product is a gel product, but uh, this dries pretty fast. I think most of the gel products dries pretty fast. So what I am going to do, I'm going to use this Inglot Dura Line and drop a one single drop of it. I think this is enough. One drop is more than enough for this. This product is very bomb. Like if you have any gel liner or gel brow product anything, get this product. It will make your product usable. So I'm going to quickly fill in my brows using this brow product. Well, brows are done. The brow product was quite good, but it was a little bit drying. It dried up fast, I think. So next, I'm gonna move into eyeshadow. I have this eyeshadow. This is the Milani Gilded Desire Eye and Face Palette. So this is how the packaging looks. It's a very beautiful packaging. This is the palette. This is very beautiful eyeshadow palette. So I have played around um, with this eyeshadow palette. I found it, it is a little bit powdery. So I have put excess of powder under my eyes. So since it is a little bit powdery, you need a little bit of steep brush for applying this. Uh, very fluffy brush it is going all the products are going to come out so first I'm going to use this lighter shade and apply it on all over my eyelid to get an even base pigmentation of this eyeshadows are very good only thing is that it is a little bit powdery next I'm gonna take this brown shade and apply it on my crease Also, I'm going to use the same shade to contour my nose. Basically, I'm going to apply it to the inner corners and then bring it here. Lately, I have been loving bringing the eyeshadow to my nose. Whatever I'm putting in my crease, I like to bring it for my nose. Next, I'm going to take this maroon shade to deepen up my crease. And I'm going to take a flat brush. I'm going to first put the product and then I'm gonna blend it and I'm making a V here in my crease next time I'm taking a fluffy brush and try to blend same thing I'm gonna do for my other eye also next I'm gonna use these two glitters so I'm gonna take a flat brush to apply the glitters actually I'm gonna use my finger to angle these are very beautiful pigmented shimmery shades very perfect for bridal looks so I'm gonna take the same maroon color shade and try to blend the edges so that it does not look harsh next taking the champagne gold shade using my pinky finger I'm trying to apply it to the inner corners and then try to go over using the brush and blend it nicely very beautiful eyeshadows so next I'm gonna take a black shadow which is in the, in the palette and using this flat brush I'm trying to make a line very close to my eyelashes I don't have a eyeliner from Milani so I'm using this black shadow as my eyeliner Also, I'm gonna bring the black liner for my lower lash line and I always like to bring it halfway not to my inner corners of my eyes next I'm gonna remove my baking I'm gonna go for my lower lash line so I'm gonna use this real techniques brush this is actually a new game I was looking for this for a long time I got it recently and this is a real technique blush brush it is very fluffy so it is not going to move any product underneath so I'm gonna remove my baking I can see the Milani powder is quite good it has brightened my under eyes next I'm gonna take this brown shade and apply it on my lower lash line and also I'm gonna take the hint of uh, maroon so my eye makeup is done using this beautiful palette this also have some highlighter 
I'm gonna use this later so next I don't have a mascara uh, lash I don't think Milani has lashes so I don't have mascara and lash from that so I'm gonna use a couple of coats of this Maybelline big shot mascara and lashes and get back to you so lashes are done these are the Huda Beauty and Jacqueline Fernandez eyelashes they are quite uh, simple they are similar to the Samantha lashes I think you can say less dramatic than the Samantha lashes so one thing I've noticed for this foundation like my face is again started becoming oily so let me pack on some more powder next I'm gonna move into bronzer I have this Milani bronzer this is a very big pan this is called the Milani bronzer Excel all over glow I don't see any glowy product here but it is very hard to get the product so I'm going to take a, a stiff brush and try to bronze my face you can see it is giving a very beautiful subtle bronzing effect for my face still if you want to pick up the product so use the spoolie and you can scratch a little bit of the product and take it in your brush and try to apply it next I'm gonna take this uh, matte blush this is the Milani powder blush it is in the shade 05 Co Coral Cove so I'm gonna take a little bit stiffer a fluffy brush and try to apply it on the apples of my cheeks I have a little bit of texture in my cheeks so I prefer to go for matte blush than shiny one otherwise it shows up my texture you can see very beautiful color so the blush has hidden all the texture in my cheeks next I'm going to take this highlighters which is there in the eyeshadow palette I'm going to take this golden shade and apply it on the other highest point of my cheeks wow it's a very beautiful highlight so I'm going to take a little bit of the white shadow and using my finger I'm going to apply it only on the highest point wow highlighter is very good for Milani and this palette is very good if you don't want to separately buy highlighter and eyeshadow you can go for this for lips I'm going to use this Milani Amour matte lip cream and it is in the shade gorgeous the liquid lipstick smells very beautiful I feel like eating it is so nice wow some food smell it is coming it's a very beautiful um, pink color you can see reddish pink very beautiful shade feels very comfortable very good quality this little bit at a higher end but I feel very good about this lipstick so yeah this is all about my full face of Milani product and this is how my makeup looks now out of all the products I really love the eyeshadow from the eyeshadow more than the mattes I find like the glittery eyeshadow and the highlighter is very good from the eyeshadow palette and the palette looks very beautiful such a beautiful golden shade I really love this eyeshadow palette and the blush bronzer quite good powder is also very good primer uh, I did not find much good about this primer I think for this foundation since the foundation is quite oily it is not too much matte I need more mattifying primer but the foundation has a very beautiful uh, finish to it it does not feels heavy and it applies very beautifully and that shade tan is also perfectly matching to my skin tone and the lipstick I now can find why the Milani lipstick is so good very good lipstick the powder is also the banana powder is also very good and the brow product and everything i think most of the products are very good so yeah this is all about the products so that's all for today's video if you like this video please hit on the like button thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till then bye